Fans worldwide were saddened to see Netflix's acclaimed crime series, Ozark, come to an end in April. As the series met a jaw-dropping finale, actor Jason Bateman revealed what character Marty Bird would be doing now. After four seasons of Marty Bird and his wife Wendy Bird, Laura Linney, laundering millions for the Navarro cartel, the deal finally came to a head. Back in the first installment, Marty had relocated his family from Chicago to the Missouri Ozarks, after he agreed to launder $500 million in five years. This was a deal which saved his life, after he watched his business partner be shot to death after his own deal went wrong. With the success of their casino, the birds were ready to put this behind him and move back to Chicago. However, they met more than a few bumps in the road when they tried to sort out a deal between the FBI and the head of the cartel, Omar Navarro, Felix Solis. As Navarro also wanted to leave the life of crime, he asked the birds to cooperate with the FBI for their freedom. While the criminal wanted free reign to fly between Mexico and the United States, police refused as they needed him to take the fall for the crimes. Despite the back and forth, the police pressed on and unexpectedly arrested Navarro. Following the death of Navarro's successor Javi Elizondo, Alfonso Herrera, the family set up plans for their return to Chicago. As the series ended before viewers could see the whole family return to their normal lives, many theorized whether or not they made it out of the Ozarks. However, Marty star Jason Bateman had his own theories about his character's fate and what the family could be doing now. During a red carpet interview, the actor was joined by Julia Garner, who portrayed Ruth Langmore to discuss the series. When asked if viewers could assume the Bird family lived happily ever after, Bateman answered, they're going to get going back up to Chicago to continue the plan. Hopefully, the ends justifying their means. I don't know if they get successful with that up in Chicago or not. He added, my sense is that they probably continue to stumble because they think they're a little bit smarter than they are and those people don't fare too well. The stars were then quizzed about a potential spin-off, to which Garner responded, maybe, I guess, in case somebody hasn't seen the end, I don't want to reveal. While Bateman stated, I think we would both obviously love to do any amount of work with all of those people that we worked so pleasantly with for so long. I mean, that's the stuff you never want to end, this or any other name, we just love all the folks. In May, the show's executive producer Chris Mundy also addressed spin-off rumors and said, It's definitely something that people have talked about a bunch, there's nothing definitive. We're lucky that people seem to really like the show so there's obviously going to be some interest there. Ozark is available on Netflix.